Son, you're up, Marvin. Huh? Oh, and what kind of push up form was that? Put down, I said. Move it. <laughs> yeah, move it, Marvin. You can leave your racket there. But I thought we were doing jump smashes. Nope, we're doing agility. You're not ready for jump smashes yet. What? You said we'd get there today. That was before you botched your footwork during the game yesterday. Your agility has to get better first. We did this already. How long is this gonna take? Maybe if you did what I said instead of complaining, we'd be there already. I always do what you say. Enough! Oh. Fine! We'll work on jump smashes then. Ready? Hmm. You will never be ready. Let's go, Roger. Man, that teacher's boring. Yeah, and we have her ninth period. Great way to end the day. Good thing sports are right after, or I might not make it. Speaking of which, are you trying out for badminton? I can't do that, and you know why already. But don't you want to impress Samantha? She's never seen you play before. I do, but then I'll have to tell her everything. So you'd rather play hockey, or go to science club? Okay, class, make sure that you put your pH titrations in the basket. Uh, I was thinking about... Oh, there she is. Hi, Samantha. Hey, Coop. Hey, Marvin. Where are you guys going? Badminton tryouts? Oh my god! Yeah, badminton tryouts. That sounds fun. Audrey and I are going to art club. The first unit is pencil drawing. We could use you guys as subjects sometime. Sure, as long as I get to keep my pants on. But we don't wear pants. We'll catch you guys later, then. See ya. See ya. See ya. <sighs> well, there it is. Ready? I don't know how I feel about this. I think you'll do great. Let's go in. Mm, okay.
Hey, Mom. Are you okay? Your father left. He took Roger with him, and he said he's gone to train him. It's all here in this letter. Let me see that. To my family. After all of our practice and training, Roger has shown me nothing but improvement. He has gotten so good that I think he can be the world champion. I've been thinking this for a long time, and I finally decided after morning practice a few days ago that he is ready to train full time. To avoid any conflict with the rest of the family, we will be training at White Rock Peak. We will return for qualifiers in a few months. Dad. We need to go to White Rock Peak and meet them there. I want to keep training too. But sweetie. No! This isn't fair. Why can't I be the world champion? I'm just as good as Roger. Why aren't you coming? I would never disobey dad. I trust him and have accepted that things are going to be different. That's so dumb. I'm going alone then, but I don't want to lose you too. And who's going to take care of Mintley?